Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my class. Today we are going to see uh, how to do the uh, vMotion technology. Using vMotion technology, how to migrate uh, on uh, VM from uh, one ESXi server to other ESXi server. Okay, now as per our setup, uh, I mean uh, that uh, VMware setup, uh, we install. So this is a ESXi server one uh, where we have uh, CentOS and the Windows two VMs uh, we placed here and ESXi one server and the ESXi two we installed vCenter version seven. Okay, now I logged in on uh, vCenter that is one thirty three. So how to do a uh, vMotion like uh, when the server is uh, down we can migrate easily so now can easily migrate when the server is down so now live server how to migrate live server without downtime so for that we are using vMotion technology in VMware so now the server is up and running if you open console now I logged in my CentOS up time is 11 minutes now I am going to move this live server from one ESXi server to other ESXi server using vMotion so for that we need to configure And click up uh, ESXi server and configure VM kernel adapter. Uh, I'll click uh, new and the VM kernel adapter network adapter. We'll select first option. Uh, go next and uh, select an existing standard switch. We switch and uh, network label VM kernel or vMotion we can name it as v, v motion the network name ok we will leave it as it is I uh, will choose v motion here available service so uh, there are many uh, enabled services that provisioning fault tolerance management vSphere replication vSphere replication NFC vSAN vSphere backup NFC now I choose only v motion and use the static IP address okay now I need to check what is IP address so 133 is the last uh, vCenter IP address I will check 134 if it is pinging or not so that means uh, the 134 available 48 134 I will choose 192, 168, 48, 134, subnet mask 255, 255, 255.0, default gateway 48.2, default, DNS server is same, it is, ok, now I will click no, ok, now it is finished. I will go there and check 134 is pinging or not. Yeah, now it is pinging. Similar way, I will create 
one more network card in other ESXi server. So this vMotion is communicating using the vMotion uh, network card, uh, card. Okay, VM kernel network adapter. Select existing standard switch. V switch. Okay. V motion. We can call it the same name. And V motion. We can select. Okay. I will try to ping others. IP address one thirty five. Now one thirty five is available. That is not pinging. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot forty eight dot one thirty five. Here it subdent mask two fifty five and they leave it a uh, default gateway. Okay. Finish. Now both ESXi server we created the VM kernel adapters. Now the CentOS is now up and running. You can choose top command. Okay, it is running now. Uh, now I am going to move this CentOS live server, migrate. So I have option like a change computer resource. If I select this one, only computer resource only move and uh, storage is still uh, it is on beside the same ESXi server if you choose change storage only the storage will only it will come and compute resource it will uh, still receive in the uh, sit on the old uh, ESXi server only previous now I choose both change both compute resource and the storage okay location where you want to now it is currently in uh, location location is 129 and I'm going to move 132 I'm getting error so it was locked state so what I did was I go through it and uh, navigate to VM, vCenter host and VM edit setting, CD drive, connected box, disconnect. Okay, I go there and uh, select the VM edit setting here CD drive. It was connected state. So if you connected state, it will not come. So I will uncheck it, save it. Now, if you come here, this we can ignore now. Now we, it is not locked. Okay, now it is coming next. Okay, and data store. Okay, default. VM network. Okay. Uh, schedule V motion with the uh, high priority recommended. Okay, so overall, yeah, what we did, okay, finish. Uh, we can see like uh, relocation is moving on, relocating, and still our CentOS is running without uh, any issue. Uh, Now relocating is completed. So you can go there and uh,
it is now moved to ESXi2. So now we moved the live server one ESXi2 other ESXi server. Now it is moved to ESXi2. If you only can log in console and check. Up time 22 minutes. So I didn't put the power off state. Live system we migrated one ESXi server to other ESXi server. So uh, it will be useful when we are doing any hardware changes or ma uh, maintenance purpose. We are just moving all the ESX uh, VM host to one ESXi to other ESXi host. And a similar way you can revert back. So, migrate migrate change both computer resources okay where you want to move previous one 129 okay data store next vm network schedule v motion high priority okay okay now it is finished now it is relocating virtual machine ESXi2 to ESXi1 back again. So oh, this is the uh, method we are using. So whenever we want to do any maintenance work uh, at that time we can do the live migration from one ESXi server to other ESXi server using vMotion technology or any other you know there are many uh, name we can call it as an oracle live migration or vm migration but the procedure is this, this is the same so here uh, vmware we are using vm uh, vmotion technology to uh, move the vm one esxi to other esxi server thank you for this